Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. Now in today's video, we are going to be using Finvez for our swing trading. We're going to be breaking down some of the techniques and scanners you guys can use to implement in your swing trading so you guys can all make some money. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys do like, subscribe, do what you guys do, and I appreciate every single one of you. Also, if you want to learn more about swing trading, I highly recommend going on and checking out my swing trading school where you guys can learn everything about swing trading, strategies, mindset, emotions, you know, how to find these stocks and strategies and all that stuff. We have private live streams to ask questions. We have a group chat for more questions. We we believe in quizzes and lectures and treating a, like a job in a school and not like a scammy place. I don't believe in alerts. I teach people pretty much how to trade in the strategies I've used for six years full time. So check it out. You guys can use code half off to get 50% off only valid for, for like two days. So check that out in uh, guys, let's uh, jump into this here. So when it comes with swing trading, what do you need? So you need a broker. I use Moomoo. They're absolutely fantastic. And I do obviously have my Finvez off on the side here. So we have both. And I think that's kind of a very, very good approach, especially if you have two monitors like myself. If you don't, you can easily do it just like this and just click through just like that. But since I have two, I might as well utilize them. So uh, one of the reasons I like having my broker up, so very, very simple one, so I can buy stock when I want to. If I see an opportunity with the Finvest scanner, I can use that and uh, look at the stock in position on my broker. The second reason I like using my broker and having it up, it's very, very simple, is because in my opinion, the charting and indicators is a lot better on, on Moomoo than the Finvez, but whatever, let's uh, jump into this here. So let's actually make myself a little smaller so you guys can just see more of my screen. So when it, come with, when it comes with Finvez, what is it and how do you use it? So in simple terms, Finvez, or if I'm even saying that right, is a uh, stock scanner. So pretty much what it does is it scans the uh, stock market. You can put in certain you know criteria so you can find stocks that meet your strategy. With swing trading and trading in general, you're not buying random companies, you're buying stocks with uh, opportunity. And when you get Finvez up and loaded here, you guys will see we have all the major indexes, the Dow Jones, NASDAQ, S&P, the Russell 2000. As we scroll down here, you guys can kind of see stocks that are you know, hitting all-time highs, unusual volume, top gainers on this side, top losers, new lows, all that stuff. Now, normally these stocks right here are going to be the stocks that most day traders use just because these are the stocks often with a lot of volatility and a lot of up and down action. Now, this right here is what we call the S&P 500 map. Before I swing trade or find opportunity, I like to see kind of what is going on with just the general market. So you guys can see semiconductors, uh, they were up today, so we could see a little continuation for this week. Another way that you guys can actually do that, it's very, very simple, is to go to the groups tab up here. Once you click that, close out of the ad, that's the thing about Finvez is there is ads if you don't pay for it. Um, you guys can see the performance uh, for, for stocks that are doing well. So you guys can see the one month performance. Energy has been doing very, very well. One week, utilities, then energy, three months, energy, half year, financial. Um, you know, So you, you can start getting a gauge of what stocks and sectors are performing well. But uh, let's go to the uh, back to the home screen. So as we scroll down here, you guys can see all this stuff right here. So this is like trend line supports, resistance. And those are super important because as, as you become a swing trader, you're looking for stocks on support lines. So having a scanner in a place that automatically has stocks with trend line support is really cool. Now, another thing that you, you can have is trend line resistance. If you guys are like short uh, swing traders, so you're betting for it to go down. There's a very easy scanner right there to find those plays. Then we got the channel up channel, you know, or like stocks consolidating. And you guys can just hover over the stock and it can kind of give you a general um, chart of what's going on with it. So for me, I before I even click on it, I just kind of hover over it and see what's going on. Um, but yeah, as we scroll down, we got like major headlines here. We have, you know, some earnings release. So we had Meta release their earnings. We had Google today. We have Exxon Mobil tomorrow. So it's a good way to kind of stay informed with the general market. 
Uh, right here, we have top insider, you know, buying and selling. So that's pretty important because if you're a swing trader and you know the CEO is buying when you're buying, that's just another indicator, another indication where we could see some buying pressure, which is really cool. So uh, let's continue to go through here. So we got more insider buying and selling, and it'll say the uh, relationship right here. So if, like the CEO is buying, maybe that's a, a good opportunity and a good stock to possibly buy. But let's go to the more important tab here, and this is the screener tab. So for me and my strategy, it's very, very simple on, on finding opportunity. I like finding stocks with some sort of upward trend. In my opinion, that's that's literally the first step to success because le like I was saying, I'm a long trader, so I buy and I try to sell it at a higher price. Some people are short you know, traders, like I mentioned, but so the first step to find, finding stocks with buying pressure is trends. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can do it, uh, you know, percent change. You can do it uh, pattern. You can do a variety of things. Um, you can do the performance. You can do a lot. But for me, I, I like finding and going to the technical uh, side here. And what I want to do is pretty much find these stocks uh, with some sort of channel going up. The channel going up, imagine two parallel lines going up. And the reason that's important is because those trend lines are support and resistance. So we'll go channel up or channel up strong. And the great thing about this scanner is you can click it. If you don't like it, you can always adjust it. We'll go back to the all tab here. And you guys can see the channel up here. The next thing that I always do here is I go to the relative volume. The relative volume, I do want like over 0.5. And what this is, pretty much the overall demand for the stock. And this is very, very important. The next thing that I want to go to is just the average volume. I want stocks that are moving. I want I want volume. And you guys can see it dropped like from like 20 stocks to about eight stocks. And so now we click charts and we can just evaluate what's going on. And this is super, super cool because now I can just throw that off on the other corner of the screen and find opportunities. Now, one of the plays here that we were looking at was actually ticker symbol ABSI. And I do want to show you this stock because I do think there possibly could be some potential. So ABSI here, as we look at it, it has that nice upward trend, which we like. On top of that, one of the things here that is super important is moving average lines. So moving average lines are awesome because they act as support, they act as resistance. And you know, normally, uh, if you can buy a stock on like a 90 day moving average line or a 200 day moving average line, just a higher indication where we could get buying pressure from it. So this was a play that we were actually looking at and I actually talked about in today's swing trading live stream with our with our team here. And this is it here. So what happens is, is if we hop in near and around this 480 mark, now, one of the reasons I like it is for a variety of reasons here. Whoops, let's, let's just go ahead and re-click it. But one of the reasons I like it here is what do we notice? We see a lot of tendencies of getting buying pressure at that line, right? That line is its current price. So it hits it once, twice, establishing buying pressure there, as well as it has resistance here. So it hits it, sell off, hits it, sell off. So old resistance has tendencies of acting as new support. So now, as the stock goes from you know as the stock hits it we set our stop loss just below it we risk you know one dollar to possibly make you know uh two dollars in 86 cents which is a very very good uh risk and reward and obviously you can adjust your risk and reward just by adjusting adjusting your uh, stop loss just like that and so this is a very very easy example and strategies that you guys can use to implement for your swing trading is just finding stocks with opportunity that have sold off down to better levels. So guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, but this is a textbook swing trading strategy. If you guys wanna learn more about swing trading, I highly recommend checking out my swing trading school. Like I said, as of right now, half off, which is incredible. And check out one of these. I would highly recommend for all of you guys, even if you don't wanna learn you know, my strategies, invest into a trading notebook so you guys can keep track of your stocks and um, all that stuff. I'll put that down below. You guys can find it on Amazon. So it's uh, pretty legit. But guys, we'll see you guys later. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.